Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Meg. Today we're going to discuss a long debated topic, silicone versus saline. Both implants are great options, however each has their pros and cons. Ultimately, the decision is up to you with guidance from your surgeon. Silicone implants tend to be better for women with little breast tissue or those who have lost breast tissue following pregnancy. A benefit to saline is that we can place them through an incision in your armpit, leaving no scars on your breasts. Silicone implants tend to feel more natural, however, once inside, silicone and saline look the same. Saline implants can last for up to 20 years, while silicone need to be replaced after 10. Silicone is more high maintenance. It requires an MRI scan to make sure that the implant's not leaking. The leak isn't dangerous, however, it can cause hardening of the breast implant. Saline implants can show rippling on thinner women. However, they rarely deflate prematurely. Despite these differences, both options are completely safe and do the job. At the end of the day, the choice is yours.